Hi, this is Mrs. Murdoch, and today I'm going to explain something called claim evidence and reasoning. Claim evidence and reasoning are steps that you take after you have finished a graph to explain what the graph means. So here's a graph that's well titled, the effect of the amount of fertilizer on plant growth, and well labeled, growth in centimeters on this side, amount of fertilizer on the, on the x-axis, and we have some data for plants that received 0, 5, 10, and 15 milliliters of fertilizer. Okay. So my... There we go. Okay. All right. So claim evidence and reasoning. If I just leave that right there. The first thing that we write is a claim for this. The claim is the simplest part. With a claim, you're going to write a single sentence that explains how the IV is affecting the DV, given your graph, right? So the easiest way to start is just like this. You say, as the amount of fertilizer, which is our IV, right, fertilizer increases, the growth of the plants, help me fill in the blank. What's happening to the growth of the plants? Raise your hand if you say it's decreasing. Raise your hand if you think it's increasing. Good, okay. All right. And you can use that template for every claim. You can start with whatever's here, on the x-axis, if you have made the IV correctly placed on the x-axis, you're going to start by saying as the IV increases, because going from left to right it's always going to be increasing, as the IV increases, and then the last part of the sentence is the growth of the plants, this part, which is your DV, as you know, and then you just have to answer the question by looking at the graph. In this graph, there's definitely an increase in the height of the bars. So we say increases. If the bars were starting high and going low, then we would say, oh, well, the growth of the plants is decreasing instead. So you let the data on the graph tell you how to, how to write your claim. So that's how you write a claim. That's the first step, and it's probably the easiest step. The next thing that you do is you write something called an evidence evidence right here. Right. All right, so with evidence, now that we've written what's going on on the graph in simple terms, right, that as the more fertilizer, the more the plants grow, now we have to take numbers from the graph that support what we have just said. So what you say is, the easiest thing to do is to connect a value of the IV that's really low with the actual value of the growth at that point. And then take the highest value of your IV and then say what the growth was for that point. So how do you put that in a sentence? You would do this. You would say, at zero mils of fertilizer, there was 60 uh, centimeters of growth, right? So I connected these two points, my lowest value of the IV with which, whatever the DV was at that point. Then I'm going to write my second sentence is going gonna, is gonna to use this data. At 15 milliliters of fertilizer, There was 90, let's pull that up just a little bit, 90 milliliters of growth, centimeters, right? 90 centimeters of growth. There. That is evidence that is quantitative that supports the claim that you just made, right? Because 60 is less than 90. So you can do that. All right. Now, the reasoning is the last thing. 
And sometimes the reasoning confuses students the most. Okay. With the reasoning section, now what you're going to do is you're going to explain why this relationship is the way it is. And in this section, you're, you might normally have to go to your notes and really look at, you know, if you're making a graph that's about cellular respiration or about photosynthesis, and you need to go back to your notes and really dig into the why. And it may have been something that we discussed in class, or it might be something that is in your, an ed puzzle or something like that. But you have to come up with a real, solid, specific reason. So why would plants grow better with fertilizer? Well, this, you can write a simple sentence for that. You can say, the reason more fertilizer caused plants to grow more is because fertilizers contain nutrients like like nitrogen Oop. nitrogen excuse me and phosphorus that plants need to build more cells. That's very specific. And that's, that is a really good reasoning section that really explains why. Why is more fertilizer helping the plants grow more? This is why, okay? So that is how you write a claim, evidence, and reasoning that would get you A plus on one of these sheets that I tend to give you that has the graph at the top and a claim evidence reasoning section on the bottom, which you have for the work that we're giving you to complete today. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me just uh, 